Hey guys, Warm Racer 08 here. In this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you guys how to make this word cloud. I think these are pretty neat. I've used this for a, a background at Develop PHP on my profile. Um, we're going to need to use Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. And to create this actual this image that I have here in this PDF. We're going to use a website that's going to do all this hard work for us. I'm going to show you how to take this PDF and turn it into uh, a Photoshop file that's um, completely customizable um, where each one of these words is going to be on an individual layer and we can apply effects to them. Uh, we can use the free transform tool to move things around to get it just how we want it. Um, this website that I'm going to show you creates the word cloud for us and, and we can customize it to a point there by changing colors and font and uh, whatnot but to really be able to you know make it the way you want it uh, we need to be able to edit it so uh, if you go to Google and just type in word cloud the first two that pop up are, is where we're going to go it's uh, wordle.net um, this link here is wordle.net slash create which is where we actually want to go uh, to create this word cloud so this is super simple um, you know you just got what it says paste in a bunch of text so I use notepad here I know I'm a dork um, and just got a bunch of you know words and I like to mix up capitalization some of them are all caps some of them are lowercase so I just copy copy that to your clipboard and paste it in here in the box and hit go And in a second, we'll get a pretty cool looking word cloud. All right, so that's that's just what they give us at first. Now you can hit this randomize button down here, and it will randomly go through all these options that you have to set yourself. So I found a couple that I already like, so I'm going to go ahead and change the font to duality. And I'm going to change the color to heat. I like it. It looks pretty good. And let's see, we got some other options here. So I kind of like the half and half where, where it displays half the words horizontally and half of them vertically, but you can play around with that. You know, the idea is to just get a basic layout that you like. And then what we're going to do is hit the print option. And it's going to give us the option to, well, click the always allow access to this. Okay, Java runs so funny on Windows 7 sometimes. So instead of printing it to my local printer, I'm going to print it to Adobe PDF. Hit OK. And it's going to ask us where we want to save it. So I'm just going to type test, and I'm going to save this to my desktop. Alright, so we're done here. let it finish printing all right and here it is so here's the word cloud that we just got from let me rotate the view here from that um, website cool all right but we can't do anything with it it's just an image you can't select any of the text you can't do anything so let's close that out Let's go into Illustrator. Let's open that file up. So open, file, new, or file open, sorry. Uh, let's see. It's on the desktop. And we called it test, right? Yeah, there it is. Alright, open. Give Illustrator a second here. Alright, so now what we need to do is select all. Alright, and then we need to go to Object, Clipping Mask, Release. Okay, and then over here in your Layers panel, and if it's not visible, Window, Layers, right there, click the Flyout menu. And we're going to go to Release to Layers Sequence. Okay. Now you see it put everything on an individual layer. All those separate words are on an individual layer. 
and there's 46 of them, 45. So now what we want to do is export this out as a Photoshop file. So select PSD, where is it at? Right here. And I'm just going to leave it called Test. And I'm going to save it to the desktop to save. Now in this dialog box that's going to pop open, we got we got to do a couple things here. <clears throat> First thing you want to make sure is that the right layers is selected. And the first time I did this, anti-alias was, was checked. And it kept telling me that there wasn't enough memory to do this. So I did a little bit of research and found that for whatever reason, you can't have this checked. I don't know that it's going to, you know, create any difference but I mean it looks alright when you don't do it so just make sure that this is unchecked otherwise it's not gonna work alright so we can get out of Illustrator here and now we have our Photoshop file let's take that into Photoshop Photoshop open it up and let's see here and as you can see each word is on its individual layer and we can go in here like layer 45 is the background let's turn it off for a minute we have a clear background so I mean you can do anything with this you know I mean let's just select a layer here let's layer number three and uh, let's get the free transform tool uh, where's it at alright guys sorry <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm I'm not very good at Photoshop. I was thinking of uh, a firework. So actually, we need to grab the Move tool, and then we can just we'll highlight the layer, and we can move the word around, turn it upside down. You know, move it where we oh, move it where we want to move it. Uh, we can go down here and let's see here. That's, that's where we want it. We can apply effects to it. A lot of drop shadow, uh, you know, a, a color overlay. I mean, you can do everything with it uh, now because each each uh, word is on an individual layer. So then, when you get done, you just save it out like you would anything else, depending on where you're going with it. Um, so that's pretty much it. You know, Wordle. Dot com. W-O-R-D-L-E dot net. Hope you guys enjoyed.